So the Apple iPhone 10 and the Google Pixel 2 XL are two of the best and most expensive phones on the market. But if we ignore the price and dodgy screens and top notches for a moment, I want to find out which has the best camera. So let's start off in good light, where both phones take great photos. It's actually really hard to tell them apart. Now this shot is really challenging, it's got a mixture of bright and dark areas, but the first thing that strikes me is just how much sharper and crisper the Pixel's photo is. If we zoom in on the tree, just look at the difference in the amount of detail between the shots. The iPhone looks really blurry in comparison. This shot is really interesting because I actually prefer the color tone of the iPhone's photo. The Pixel 2 looks just a bit too warm, especially if you look at the newspaper. But again, if we zoom in and you look at the sandwiches in the fridge, you can see the Pixel handles highlights much better. But overall, I think I prefer the iPhone's photo in this case. It's brighter and has nicer colors. Now let's move on to some low light shots because this really shows off the Pixel 2's better dynamic range. The circular building on the roundabout is the BFI IMAX cinema and it's almost completely blown out on the iPhone shot whereas it's much clearer on the Pixel. You can see the same thing in the Waterloo Grill food stall on the left. The Pixel 2 handles the bright and dark areas much better overall. Look at just how different the colours are in this nighttime shot of the old Vic Theatre. The spotlights look purple on the iPhone and blue on the Pixel. I actually went back to double check what colour it actually is, and it is purple, so the iPhone is more colour accurate here, and that is quite a big difference. Now this is really interesting, now the phone is perfect here, but to my eye, the iPhone's shot looks a lot nicer, with more natural colours on the dashboard, and a more accurate white light on the pub sign. But if you look at the signs, once again, you can see the pixel handles the brighter areas better. So now I'm back home in the office and you can see A, I'm running out of shelf space and B, again, the differences in colors and highlights. The Pixel 2 actually produces a much more natural color here, especially on the carpet. And just look at the differences in the light around the lamp and the light strip. The Pixel 2 handles the bright areas a lot better than the iPhone. Both phones have really impressive portrait modes, although neither are flawless, with some jagged edges on the side of the coffee cup in the Pixel's photo and a few soft focus blurry issues on the iPhone's. It's each to their own, but I think I prefer the Pixel's photo overall. The bokeh effect isn't quite as intense and it looks a bit more natural. So that's the portrait mode with the rear camera, but what about the selfie portrait mode? Well, there's a pretty big difference and I definitely prefer the Pixel's shot. Not only do you get a wider field of view, so there's a lot more in the photo. So if you're a big selfie fan and like using portrait modes, the Pixel comes out on top. But the iPhone does have a couple of tricks up its sleeve, with the first being its second telephoto lens that gives you a two times optical zoom, which can be really useful sometimes, and that's something the Pixel simply can't compete with, that's just got a digital zoom, so that's a big plus for the iPhone. And finally, let's move on to video. They both shoot fantastic 4K video, although I think the Pixel does a better job at stabilization. You can't feel my footsteps quite as much on the Pixel's footage. But quality wise, there's really not much in it. But where the iPhone 10 does come out on top is its ability to shoot 4K 60 video. It's a cool option to have and some people really like the look of this smoother footage, or you can even slow it down to half speed in the edit and then you'd have 4K slow motion. Although of course it does use twice as much storage space on the phone. So, Pixel or iPhone, which has the best camera? Well, it's actually really close, kind of as we expected, and both have their advantages. The Pixel 2 had better dynamic range throughout. It handled bright highlights a lot better than the iPhone. I also found the Pixel to be more detailed in a lot of shots, and I think overall it has better portrait modes for both front and rear cameras. But having said that, the iPhone on the whole produced more natural colors. It does have that second lens for two times optical zoom, and it can shoot 4K 60 video. So my conclusion would be that the Pixel's camera is technically slightly superior, but the iPhone is more versatile and gives you more options. You definitely won't be disappointed with either, but if I had to pick one, I think I'd go for the Pixel because I could probably live without the 2x zoom and 4K60 as nice as they are to have. For me, I just want the best photo possible, and I think that's what the Google Pixel delivers. What about you? Let me know which you thought was best in the comments below. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.